So glad to celebrate you. Thank you for coming out in the weather. Thank you for coming out in everything going on, and we're glad to have you here. <laughs> Apparently, I'm just going to keep yelling in all directions to make sure you can hear me. My name is Major Douglas McClure, and I've been in town for five months. Do so you know what that means? I have no idea what I'm doing. The agenda says come up there and welcome everybody. And I want to welcome you here at the Hobby Lobby here on Robert C. Daniel Parkway. And thank you so much for coming out here and supporting our kettle program. It's an exciting year. We have all kinds of great things coming up. And uh, we're just so grateful to be here. Thank you so much for supporting the Salvation Army. For those of you who are inside the family, those of you who are part of our outside family, thank you so much for what you do for each, each and every day. And God bless you. And let's have a great Christmas season. Thank you for being here. Now, also new to our area, and probably one of the best looking men you ever met in your whole life, Lieutenant Trayvon King. I know a lot of people don't know the, the backstory about Kettles, and I think this would be a great time to give it. So, in 1891, Salvation Army Captain Joseph McPhee was distraught because so many poles in San Francisco were going hungry. During the holiday season, he resolved to provide a free Christmas dinner for the destitute and poverty stricken. He only had one major hurdle to overcome, funding the project. Where the money would come from, he wondered. He lay awake at nights, worrying, thinking, and praying about how he could find the funds to fulfill his commitment of feeding 1,000 of the city's poorest individuals on Christmas day. As he pondered the issue, his thoughts drifted back to his sailor his sailor days in Liverpool, England. He remembered where the boats came in. There was a large iron kettle called Simpson's Pot into which passers-by tossed a coin or two to help the poor. The next day, Captain McPhee placed a similar pot at the Oakland Ferry Landing at the foot of Market Street. Beside the pot, he placed a sign that read, Keep the Pot Boiling. He soon had the money to see that the needy people were, were properly fed at Christmas. Six years later, the kettle idea spread from the, the West Coast to the Boston area. That year, the combined effort nation, nationwide resulted in 150,000 Christmas dinners for the needy. In 1901, in 1901 kettle dis distributions in New York City provided funds for the first mammoth sit-down dinner in Madison Square Garden, a custom that continued for many years. Today in the U.S., the Salvation Army assists more than four and a half million people during the Thanksgiving and Christmas time periods. Captain McPhee's kettle idea launched a tradition that has spread not only throughout the United States, but all across the world. Kettles are now used in such distant lands as Korea, Japan, Chile, and many European countries. Everywhere, public contributions to Salvation Army Kettles enable the organization to continue its year-round efforts at helping those who would otherwise be forgotten. Thank you all for coming out again. Uh, we appreciate it. This is for a great cause. This is not just for us, the Salvation Army, but it's for the community to which we serve. And I believe that's what we're all about, is serving the kingdom. Thank you. Morning, everyone. Morning. 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 Thank you for being here. My name is Nikki, and I am the chairman of the Salvation Army Advisory Board. And I am so honored to be here and to be a part of this kickoff. I have been involved with the Salvation Army for about 13 years now. Um, I've served on the junior board, and I've been on the advisory board for about eight years now. And now I'm the chairperson. So I just want to thank our advisory board members. I want to thank the to thank the Salvation Army Advisory Board, the the band, um, this rainy day, our corporate sponsors, <laughs> everyone who's come out to sponsor and help us today. And let's let the challenge begin. Woo! Merry Christmas, Woo! Happy Thanksgiving, and let's start the season. Woo! I'm gonna start first.